portrayed either as the victim of Munchausen or the murderer. The answer that she gives this woman is just astounding. Basically, she goes on to say that everybody just wants a perfect victim and the perfect victim would be dead. And because there, she's not dead, the perpetrator is dead, according to her, then they tell uh, why she's getting all the hate. Does that make any sense to you? Because it does not make any sense to me. And I cannot believe the audacity this girl has. It just never ends. And what is wrong with these journalists? Why would you sit there and just let her say that shit and not have a follow-up question for her? Where is Barbara Wawa when you need her? Like, where is your follow-up question? Where do you say to her, um, I don't think that's true at all, and a perfect victim? What are you talking about? There's no such thing as a perfect victim. Nobody wanted you dead, Gypsy Rose. We want the truth. And the fact of the matter is, is you couldn't tell the truth if it bit you on your big old fucking nose. So you can change your hair and you can change your nose and you can do all the things that you think will make you somehow perfect and whole. But baby, you ain't ever going to be whole. You're never going to be okay because there's something wrong with you. So wrong that you took out the one person in the world who actually gave a shit about you. And now you're cuddling up to the woman who replaced her in your dad's life and in your life interesting daddy wanted her more than he wanted to be with you do you understand and she was fine with that and she did not care and no one knew about you gypsy not her neighbors nobody they didn't know about nicolette either but you know you'd think you'd think they would know about you but they didn't and that's because the people who are guiding you are the same people who failed you your whole life and they are not guiding you any closer to having a better life than a piece of crap would no one is doing you favors sister they're all feeding you lies and telling you your shit don't stink when we all know it does just stop just stop if you don't like the hate and you don't like the way people talk about you, and you don't want haters in your comments, then here's a thought. Turn it all off and go away. Turn it all off and go live the, you're just a regular bear life that you so so say that you wanted all your life. Go live that fairy tale with Ken and your family and get the fuck off of social media and stop sending your shit to TMZ. Nobody gives a crap how many times you go to the Dollar General in a day. We're all laughing now. It, 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 this is this has become comical, and you and your stepmommy are the brunt of those jokes. Do you even realize that? Do you know how many people don't buy your bullshit anymore? It's not just me anymore. I hate that for you. I really do. Oh well, the truth will win. And this little blip of fame that you have, hold on to it as tight as you can, baby. Because when that fall happens, and it will, when they drop you, and they will, that fall from grace is going to be real damn hard. You ain't got nobody around you to pick you up and put you back together. Girl, you need Jesus. Like, really bad. But anyway, you just go on thinking that everybody hates you because you, you know, the perpetrator's dead of the abuse. Honey, there ain't ever any fucking abuse and we all know it. Just stop. Stop with all the lies. It's just... And the journalists who are allowing you to do this should be ashamed of themselves. All of them. Aaron Lee Carr, Melissa Moore, all of you. 2020, Good Morning America, the view every single one of you is promoting a schmurderer for doing schmurder not an abuse victim a schmurderer a cold-blooded calculated schmurderer who planned the unaliving of a person for over three years and convinced a mentally incapacitated young man to do it for her because you know she couldn't get her hands dirty 
except for the times that she pulled that trigger. <sighs> that woman did everything for you. And you snuffed her out. I'm not saying Dee's a good person. But she was one hell of a mom. And I would have liked to actually see her go to jail for the fraud that she committed. So we would have known the truth instead of this bullshit lie that you're trying to sell everybody. That dog don't hunt, baby. Those lies, they ain't gonna work no more. We see you. We see you for who you are. The whole world will too.